Hello guys! Today we're going to look at the switch panel I just got from Amazon. So um, yeah, it's a 8 gang switch panel. 8 gang? I think it's called 8 gang. Let's uh, open it and take a look. It came in this uh, nice grey box. And it looks like this. It's made from plastic, which is again made to look like carbon. Carbon fiber that is. And uh, yes, here we have it, eight switches. Four extra equipment, it's one for a, yeah, it looks like a cigarette lighter, but it's not. Dual USB. Here it was a cigarette lighter, like this. But I have already taken it out and changed it for one of my quick charge USBs, which I have a video for in my channel. I will put a link for it up here somewhere, hopefully. This is a volt meter. There is four input fuses which again goes to two and two and two and two switch. So, short description. Each of these four fuses goes to two or two fuses. Fuses, switches. Okay, let's take a look what's inside the box. There's a cigarette lighter. Like I told you, I did the uh, switch from this. This one, like this, also a rubber cap. And you have two sticker sheets with some symbols. Plastic bag with screws. These have a countersunk screw heads, which should fit nicely inside the countersunk holes. And then, last one is a rubber gasket, which fits on the back side of the panel, of course. Like this. So, there we have it. Two sheets of stickers. One cigarette lighter, which was originally installed up here, with the cigarette plug lighter, screws, and the rubber gasket. Okay, um, all these four wires is supposed to be connected to a plus side of the battery. And these three wires is only for the lighting of the switch. The blue and yellow one, let's test that one first. Blue is plus and yellow is minus. And then you got these nice red lights. Well, it's a little hard to see maybe, but if I disconnect it, yes. Then there is no light in the switch. Only down here, and it's always on. You can of course make an on switch on it. To disable it, I will do that later. And the black and this red one is for the switch and the light in the switch. So, if you do like this, all these four units is directly connected to the power by this one, so uh, they are not connected by the switches. You can of course do that if you rewire the panel. But when it came out of the box, all this is hardwired directly to the fuse. So now, if you switch on, you will see there will be light in the switch. But now only for these two, since I just used the first fuse, if I connect the next one, then of course the next two will be lit as well. 
again, this is directly hardwired, not through the switch. So, this single terminal, let me remove these connectors. This single terminal is the output from the switch. So, if you want this meter to be connected by the switch, you have to replace this one down here. And then, of course, you need to connect the plus to this terminal instead. And then to earth. And then... Oh. Then you have uh, a switch reading multimeter, and the same, of course, with all the others, if you like. Yes, and if you like to have the small LED on as well, you connect these two, and then, of course, the blue one needs to be connected to the plus. So, then you have the red light in all of them, and you can switch on. Yep. That's the short introduction. I will now try to wire this in my Vanagon. And I want it by my bed, so I need to have all these lights go out, even if the switches is on. So I will make my own switches and put some over here and so I can switch off the lights during the night time. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was the short introduction of this switch panel and of course how to wire it. If you have any questions about the wiring, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer it as good as I can. So now I will do another video and we will, uh, we will not, I will install this in my Vanagon and uh, hopefully it should work nicely. See you then later. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.